Hey, what's up guys? This is Matt from Mike and Matt Taste Whiskey. Um, Mike still isn't with us yet. He had a bypass surgery, um, still recovering. He should be back within the next couple weeks. Um, so right now, I've got a guest, Josh. He's uh, my buddy and he's recently been um, getting into whiskey um, and he has been a fan of the Weeders. So we're gonna do a Weeder challenge today. Um, we've got four bottles here, which I'll describe. And then up here with the glasses, we've got them labeled. Um, and at the end of the uh, tasting, I'm gonna try to decide, I think Josh, you're just gonna you're just gonna taste and tell us what you like. That's right, right yeah. What your favorite thing is. And I'm gonna do that too. Um, uh, but I'm also gonna try to guess, which is probably gonna be impossible, but let's just go with it anyway. It's gonna be fun. Um, let's go ahead. I'm gonna describe these uh, bottles that we're gonna go with. So this is Green River Weeded Bourbon, 90 proof. Green River is a newish distillery. I really like this product. I, I love the Green River stuff. Um, also really like this one, Castle and Key. Uh, small batch, weeded. Um, this one's a hunter proof. Um, you gotta love that bottle, right? I mean, this is like one of the coolest bottles. Yeah. yeah. I'm a big fan of, uh, of this bottle, especially like, I don't know, it just seems like they spared no expense with the details on this one. Yeah, really awesome bottle. Um, and then one that everybody knows, Weller Special Reserve. Um, uh, 90 proof, of course. Everybody that probably watches these videos is, knows about Weller. Um, and then this one, the Holiday Soft Red Wheat Bottled and Bond. This one just came out this year. Um, and for you, you were reading about this one. Yeah. I've tried it. I, I really liked it. I actually went to, uh, they had a release party at Justin's House of Bourbon um, just this past week on uh, Wednesday. I was able to attend and um, those guys are really fantastic people. Great to meet them. Um, but yeah, you said you read about this one and people are already talking about maybe being one of the top bottles released this year, right? Of the year, yeah. Yeah. Yep. All right, so those are the bottles. Um, now Josh and I are just gonna, we're gonna nose through, um, kind of talk about, you know, what we're getting. Then we'll go around and taste them, you know, probably taste them a few times and I'll try to pick, I'll pick my favorite and then I'll try to pick which one I think it is. And Josh is gonna pick what his favorite is. Yeah. So I think we'll start with A, which is top left here. Takes me a second to get my nose acclimated. But right away you can smell like that nice, that nice caramel. A little cinnamon. A little cinnamon. I'm gonna touch a marshmallow on this one too. Oh, maybe, yeah. Immediately I have no idea what this is, but. All right, so what I do is I like to sniff them first. Okay. Before I even take a taste. So I'm gonna, um, this is something that Mike taught me and um, what you do to reset your uh, your nose is you just sniff yourself. And that kind of resets your nose. Then you can go into the next one. Now this one is, wow, that's, that's got a floral note to it. Yeah. Like maybe even a little rose water or something. Some fruit too. Lots yeah. Of so this one's, I'm getting like less caramel yep. and I'm getting more of that fruitiness. Yep. A little spice there, maybe a little cardamom or something. Some banana. You get some banana? Yeah. All right. All right, reset the nose. This one's more a peppery, like caramel and pepper. Oh, I get banana nut bread. Really, banana nut, oh man. Yeah, I can, get, I can see that, yeah, and that's starting to open up a little bit. A little brown sugar. That one so far might be the one I like the best, as far as nose goes. Nose, yes, amazing. Yeah, so right now, I think that's C. All right, so C right now is winning the nose I love this stuff because you just don't know and the, it's always a surprise, man. It's so, yeah, I love blind tastings. Now this one I'm getting like that chocolate banana almost like I'm starting to pick up bananas on this one. It's just a, a nice su spice. suggestion just takes you all the way, right? It, it does. Yeah. 
I don't know, I like that one too. It's a little softer, like a little less. It's kind of harder to get stuff out of it, but once you do, it's like, I'm getting like a chocolate banana and maybe a little bit of even. There's still some, some fruit in there yeah, too. some fruit in there. I you think even had a dark fruit in there too. No so far would be C and then B for me, the top two. C and then B? All right, okay. Now we're just gonna start tasting these guys. So I'm gonna start at A. Knows it one more time. Oh, that one's opening up, smelling really good. All right, give it a shot. I immediately get hit with chocolate, and um, the spice for me on that one is like a cinnamony. Yep. Um, nice oak finish. I'm gonna go through them that tasted a little, maybe like it was a little bit of a higher proof. So in my head, I'm going with um, maybe maybe the Holiday, because it's 100 proof. And I think Green River and Weller are 90. So this was just what I, this is what I'm going through. Oh yeah, and the Castle and Keys 100 proof. So it could be. <sighs> You've narrowed it down to three. Yeah. It's close. Yeah, it's probably <laughs> not any of those three. It's probably the, the other one. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna. Take a little sip of water. Reset my nose. Nose this one a little bit. This one's giving me more earthy tones. I don't know what it is. This one's... All right. I'm still getting the baking spices. Bread. All right, in my head, right now in my head, I'm giving that one the Green River. Like I'm thinking that's Green River. Okay. I'm not settling on anything yet. So don't don't put me down on that yet. <laughs> I like to go through so, at least twice. I You know, if, I, if I'm doing it off of, camera, I would do this, I would probably let these sit for like 15 minutes and the like second, do it all again. The second uh, taste of B mm -hmm. brought back some cinnamon. Brought back so some spice, cinnamon. Spice. Mm -hmm. Got on, on my palate after. Now, okay, so in my head, that one was a lighter proof. Did mm -hmm. you think that one was lighter proof as well? Mm-hmm. That one's giving me, I don't know. I don't know why I think that one's the Weller. I think that one's the Weller. I think C's the Weller. And I'm wrong, but I think it's the Weller in my head right now. It's And it's because it's, it it has like that chocolatiness, yeah. that caramel and chocolate that I get with mm -hmm. Weller usually. Um, uh, then the finish was lighter. So that 90 proof, you know. Um, okay. I still got that oak. Um, something that's good about Weller even being 90 proof is it's it's packed with flavor even though it's, you know, not up there in the proof, um, mm -hmm. but it tends to have like for me anyway. It tends to have a lighter, uh, lighter finish. So, you know, I'm wrong, but I'm going to say that's Weller. And I'm already thinking this is my new one. You know that that also could be that that was really good. That's really good. Um, I don't know. So now I'm like, I'm thinking in my head. I'm thinking. I don't know. I'm gonna go through it one more time before I make a decision. What's your favorite so far? Now that we've tasted all four, before we go back around again, we'll go around one more time, and then we'll then we'll decide. Maybe B. Maybe B. Okay. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> with the other three, I feel like the uh, the nosing flavors. C held on pretty well between the nose and the taste. Mm -hmm. Very similar. Um, a and A and D, I think, uh, between the nose and the flavor. So I got some different things coming out of that. So mm -hmm. the most consistent for me, at least in, in my opinion, was, was B 
and B. C, but but I think B right now, first pass around. First pass around. All right. Let's go through it one more time. You want to go DCBA? You just want to go straight backwards? You want to go for that? Sure. All yeah, right, let's give that a me. shot. All right. So we're going to go back around. Okay. That's very good. Oh, yeah. I like it. Right now, I'm going with D as my favorite, but I'm going to. <clears throat> and I gotta say that that one tastes a little higher proof for me. I don't know the D. D. Was yeah. A little higher proof for me, I think, uh, but I'm not sure. Let me see. Let's. Second pass around, D is edging out C. D is edging out C? Yep. Okay. Both good. Both Both had a really good finish to them. Um, both were giving me like that chocolate, and caramel. <clears throat> um, I think for me, yeah, I think, I think D... D held I, I on to I the like, palate a little bit longer. It lingered so, yeah. a little bit longer. It was... Um, more uh, viscous. Yeah, C was a, just a tiny bit thinner, not by much. It's still really good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, for right now I'm with D as well. All right, let's try. Is this two or B? We'll we'll call it B. But there was no B, so uh, Becca used two. I love the way this one smells. Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah, this one could be like this is dessert. Yeah, yeah. I think you're right with the banana bread. I think that's Weller. <laughs> yeah, I don't drink a ton of Weller, but. Yeah. But that one, that one is, that one's, a, that one's really good. But it does taste like 90 proof. So I'm going to say that is a 90 proofer. I'm going to go with Weller on, I'm, I'm locking Weller in to B. Um, and I think, Honestly, I think it's going to be Green River and D. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to be completely wrong here. I'm going to go. My favorite. I think my favorite is D. I think it's going to be. Um, Castle and Key A, Weller B, Green River C, and then I think the Ben Holiday is actually D. Um, so, so we're going with favorites here. I went with okay. D. You said B was your first on the go, the first go around. B, I think B is my favorite. B is the favorite. Yeah. All right, guys, here we go. Let's see how how badly I guessed, <laughs> but let's see which one. You know, let's yeah. see. Yeah, let's see uh, our favorites. So, yeah, I'm completely wrong. Um, Weller was A. Oh, wow. That's, that was very surprising. Yeah. Um, Green River was B, um, which I guess when we say it was a 90 proof, that was right. So, like, that one did taste a little bit, like, had a little bit less proof. Yeah, yeah. So, we kind of got that because we both agreed on that one. So, um, your favorite was the Green River. Surprising. Holiday was C. Um, and I was leaning towards D or C as my favorite, um, but Castle and Key won the day for me. Um, and as usual, I completely screwed up on the guessing, but you know, that's how <laughs> blind tastings are. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so Green River for Josh, Castle and Key for me. Um, the cool thing about this video is, is that these are both craft distilleries, artisan distilleries, however you want to call them. Right. Um, Castle and Key is probably... A bigger name than Green River right now, definitely a bigger name. Um, but yeah, these bottles are very affordable and you can find them anywhere. Um, so 
I think the Green River runs maybe like 30 or 40 bucks. I think it's a relatively uh, inexpensive whiskey. Um, Castle and Key, I'm not sure about. That might be a little bit more, but um, yeah. Guys, pick these bottles up. They're really good. Absolutely. They beat Weller in the, in the blind tasting. So if you love Weller, guaranteed to love these two. All right, y'all. Keep drinking.